Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will show you how to add the grade overview block uh, within your Moodle course. Once you have the block here, you can export the block as an Excel file, which I will show you. You'll see, here's my Excel file where I have all my quizzes, as well as all my students' names and the grades they've obtained within each of these quizzes, as well as the final grade. So once you're in the course and once you've installed the block, you can export the Excel file easily with all your students' names as well as their grades. Let me show you how this is done. First, we need to go to the Moodle plugins directory. So type in moodle.org. Then click on plugins. In your search box, type in grade overview. Click on the search icon and here you'll see the grade overview. Okay, let's click on that. And you'll see if you click on versions, you'll see that it's up to 4.1, model 4.1 version. Okay, so I'll click on download. It will download to my downloads folder. I'll go back to my course. I'll click on site administration. Click on plugins and then install plugins. I'll then click on choose a file and then choose a file again. Then I'll grab my download, my block, which I've just downloaded. And I'll click on upload this file. I'll then click on install plugin from the zipped file. And now I'll continue with the installation. will tell me that my server meets the minimum requirements. I'll click on continue and then I'll click on upgrade Moodle database. So there's my plugin. I'll click on upgrade Moodle database now. And there we go. For now, we can close this. So there my plugin is installed. Let's go to my course. So I'll go to my home and then my course name. So within my course, I need to activate the plugin that I've just installed. So it's a blocks. I'll turn editing on. I'll add a new block. And then I'll go to great overview and I'll click on that. And this will add the great overview block here. Now, if it's your first time using the block, nothing will be displayed here. Okay, you'll see they never accessed, 11 students never accessed the course. Uh, and then the activities and then the students. This is the activities and this is the students. So let's click on, next to the gear icon and click on configure grade overview block. It will provide you with this drop down. You can provide it with a name. I'll just type in grade overview. I'll leave show username, yes. Show check, yes. So activity completion report and grades, yes. Show detailed reports, yes. And I can provide a description here. I'll leave it blank. Then how should the final grade be calculated? Should it be the sum, the average or the highest grade? And here you have an option. I usually choose sum. So the sum of all the activities. Decimals, I'll leave it on zero. I don't want to mess here with decimals. Then here I need to select the activities that I want to display in this grade overview. Okay, so I don't only want the quizzes to be displayed in this uh, grade overview. So I'll select the quizzes and you'll see that there's a check mark which indicates the quizzes. Okay, there's another quiz. So I'll select all the quizzes. That's it. When I'm done here, I can determine where the block should be displayed and I usually leave it on the right. And then on this page, where should it, where should it be displayed? Also on the right. I'll click on save. So this is just if you add the block to maybe the dashboard, you can display it somewhere else. Okay. Maybe in the center somewhere. Let's click on save changes. And now you'll see all my quizzes ends up here. 
So what's nice about this plugin is you'll see immediately two new menus appear. Okay, there's a completion report. When you click on that, it will provide you with, let's close this. So all my users, my usernames, my emails, the group they belong to, and the activities, and it will provide me with a completion status. Remember, this is a completion report. I can scroll horizontally and it will provide me with this breakdown. Okay, let's go back. If I want to go back, I'll just click on course. Okay, so now that was the completion report. Now immediately after the student submitted the quiz, the completion status will change to complete and this will be marked. Okay, now the detailed report. If you click on detailed report, you'll see only the quizzes that we've selected are visible here. And we have the final grade. So once the student completes the activities, their marks will end up here and the final grades. Now you can go ahead and export it as either a CSV file, Excel file, HTML table, JavaScript object, open documents, or portable PDF. Okay, so you can either export it in these formats. So let's export it as an Excel. I'll click on download, and then I'll open that particular Excel file. You'll see here that now it provides me with a detailed view of the student name, the email address, the groups they belong to, as well as each quiz that I've selected. So the quiz name will be there. And as soon as the students attempted the quiz and their marks will appear here. Okay. So this is a nice, easy, quick way to export your marks either per group or all students to an Excel spreadsheet. So you have a bird's eye view of all your students and their marks they obtained in each of the activities you've selected to be visible in your grades overview. So let's tidy the spreadsheet up. Okay, so I don't want their email addresses as well as their groups, so I'll remove that. And then everything is visible now. Then I want to add another row here. Okay, so I want to add a row here. So the first quiz was out of 50. This one was also out of 50. This one 50 and this one 50. So we have one, two, three, four. So which makes it 200 our total. Uh, and now we can let's select everything. Right click and then go to format cells and then we can create add borders. Okay, uh, select another line at this. Okay, so nice and nice grid now. Uh, I want the center. Okay, so let's just center that. The center that in the middle. Okay, and I want this a different color. So let's make it uh, green. And that's also green. And I want this here, the names. I want it like orange. Okay, so student name. I'll just merge that cell and center it. Okay, so now I have a nice little mark sheet exported from Moodle. Uh, and once the students attempted the quiz, uh, their marks will eventually end up here. I can even add a sum here for all for per quiz. Okay, but I'll leave it as is. Now let's go back to our course. If you want to hide the grade overview block from the students, let's go back to the course. And then we can click on the gear icon and here you'll see the second one is hide grade overview block. This will hide the grade overview block from the students. Okay. And only you as a teacher or the administrator can see this block. Okay. But if you want to unhide it, you just click on the eye icon again and it will be visible. Also, you can select who can see or who can edit the block by altering the permissions as well as check the permissions who has access to this particular block. If you want to completely remove this block, you click on the gear icon again and then delete grade overview. I really hope this video was helpful and you will implement this block in your courses and export your course results or your course grades from your students. Um, 
Please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for further videos on my channel.